Okay, welcome back. And now we're going to start getting to the fundamental theorem of calculus, which is the most important theorem in calculus that we're going to use. Okay, so before we get there, let's talk about the mean value theorem for integrals. We talked about the mean value theorem before, but now we're going to apply this to integrals. Okay, so this is related to the average value of a function. Okay, what this is saying is that if f of x is continuous over a closed interval, then there exists at least one point in C or excuse me, one point C, at least one point C in the interval, such that f of C equals this, which is the average value of the function, right? Or alternatively, it could be stated this way. So all I did was multiply both sides by B minus A, so you get this, that's it, okay? So what is it saying? This is saying that if I have a continuous function, let's say here, right? So this is f of x. Okay, and I'm on a closed interval from A to B, and of course I can calculate using this integral the average value of the function. So I can find the average value of the function, right? So I can find the average, or in other words, Okay, so I can find the average value of the function. The average value of the function is going to give me a number, right? It's going to be a number. What this is saying is that, hey, there's going to be at least one C in the closed interval such that the value of the function at C is going to equal the average value of the function, meaning that, you know, the average value of the function is this, is this line, right? You could think of it as a line because it's like a rectangle, right? So if you were to take all the highs and lows and take the average value of the function, you would get the same area from A to B, if you just drew the rectangle, right, as opposed to taking all the highs and lows, right? So what it's saying here is, if f of x is continuous and you find the average value of the function, there's got to be some c value, at least one, where the value of the function at c is the same as the average value of the function. There might be more than one, right? But there, what this theorem is saying is that there's going to be at least one C. That's it.